What's happening everyone, Nick here from TV Box Top and welcome to yet another product review. On today's video, I feature a brand that's taken the concept of a USB Type-C hub to the extreme, delivering one of the first docking stations that delivers three-way display and delivers high-speed data transfer via modern high-speed connecting peripherals, presenting the Mini Soparoo Datalink 13-in-1 docking station. So to find out all there is to know about this device, stay tuned, my full review is up next. And welcome back. So in the box you have the docking station itself, a 12 volts 3 amps DC power adapter, a USB Type-C to Type-C cable, a USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter, and a user manual. So the docking station has an aluminum housing around most of its body with cooling vents to both sides. To the front and back has plastic IO shields and to its base has a pair of anti-skid rubber pads. So it features four display ports for connecting to your monitors, two HDMI and two display ports. However, under cluster display number three, you can only use one of the two ports at a time. Which means, if you have monitors with two HDMI ports and one display port monitor and vice versa, this configuration ensures that you have available ports. With that said, if you have three HDMI monitors or three DisplayPort monitors, you would have to get an adapter for one of the differing ports. It has one gigabit Ethernet LAN port, a USB Type-C input DisplayPort, another USB Type-C, and this one is a power delivery port and its DC power socket. At the front, it has two USB 3.2 generation one port, one USB Type-C 3.2 generation one port, a headphone jack, and two USB 2.0 ports. So in today's tech environment, the first function of this device will be to use it with your mobile phone, converting it into an Android desktop computer. If your mobile phone has a USB Type-C display desktop interface such as Samsung DeX or EMUI, you can connect this docking station to your mobile phone and use it as an Android desktop computer with access to mouse and keyboard functionality. You get HD 1080p and in some cases 4K 1440p display via your TV or monitor connected to one of its HDMI or display ports. When you use it this way, you can connect up to five external storage devices and access or transfer data at the same time using your mobile file browser. One thing you should know is that when connected to your mobile phone, only DisplayPort number one works on the docking station as most mobile phone UIs are not yet capable of extended monitor display. If you would like to use your mobile phone as an Android streaming device, then you can also connect wireless air mouse, mini touchpad keyboards and gamepads via its USB port using a dongle, or you can connect them directly to your mobile phone via Bluetooth and still enjoy using your mobile phone as a streaming or Android gaming device. And depending on the grade of your mobile phone, high performance streaming and gaming can be achieved through this hub delivering a super Android TV box like experience. So that's one way you can use it. And if you would like to fully utilize all of the features of this docking station, then you would have to connect it to a Windows PC, MacBook computer, or any Android or Linux based device that supports multi-screen display. So here I have it connected to a Windows 11 mini PC that has a USB Type-C display port. And this is important because this docking station only has one display input and that's a USB Type-C hosting port. So from a single USB Type-C input through this docking station, you get a three-way display using two HDMI display ports and one display port or two display ports and one HDMI. And simultaneously, you can connect the USB controllers such as mouse and keyboards, wireless air mouse and mini touchpad keyboards via USB. And you can connect USB storage devices and access data at the same time. The headphone jack also becomes usable when you connect a pair of headphones. The option then becomes available under the speaker selection option. 
When connected to a laptop or MacBook that has a Type-C DisplayPort, it gets even more interesting. Through that, you get up to four extended displays, including the screen on the laptop or MacBook, along with all the features mentioned just a while ago when it was connected to the mini PC, including the headphone functionality. And for testing its data transfer speeds, here I connected it to my gaming PC via a USB Type-C port, and I also connected internet via its Gigabit LAN port. The results show that based on my internet speed of 154 megabits per second, its gigabit LAN port achieved the maximum speed of my network which confirms that it is indeed a gigabit LAN port. I also connected an M.2 enclosure with a Samsung Evo 970 Plus 1TB SSD installed. And without the docking station, this enclosure generates a speed of around 1058 MB per second read speed and around 1097 MB per write speed. Through the docking station, it generated a reduced speed of 456 megabytes per second and a write speed of 461 megabytes per second, so it experienced a 43% drop in transfer speed. So that brings to an end of this review. In summary, this docking station is your all-in-one solution for connecting to mobile devices, mini PCs, laptops, MacBooks, gaming consoles, for extending displays and accessing the internet. This docking station is so compact with features, the only thing missing is a built-in Wi-Fi 6 adapter. One thing I forgot to mention is that when I tested its surface for overheating, there was none whatsoever. And what I mean by that, is that it barely got warm, which is amazing for such a compact device. So this is the most sophisticated docking station I've reviewed to date. I highly recommend it as a solid functioning product to purchase. At no time during my review did I experience any weird anomalies or glitches and it functioned each and every time. So if you would like to get your hands on this product, you can do so using the link in the description below this video where it's currently priced at $175.69. See the link in the description below this video. So give this video the thumbs up if you like this product and enjoyed my presentation. As usual, links in the description are my affiliate links and I appreciate your support for using them to purchase. If this is the first time viewing one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified each time I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch my video. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.